what do you think is the future of DJ going forward? The, take away playing songs and that stuff, like just putting two songs together. Past that, that's the basics. What do you think the future of DJing is? And will we be needed, or could you just put your <laughs> iPhone, iCloud thing, and it's gonna be perfectly mixed and get the crescendos there and <laughs> play the right remix? Like, wh- where are we there? Are we are we still heavy on any human interaction, or are we past that? And really, it just comes down to what app you're using. Like, wh- where are we here? I think that it's a good question to ask because. You know, we're we're at self-driving cars. Like, <laughs> why can't we have self-driving DJ playlists? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're we're already there. If you really think about it, like, we're there as far as technology goes. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's DJ Keel here. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Um... I don't think I've abandoned the channel per se, but like I haven't been inspired to make a lot of videos about stuff. It hasn't been a lot of innovations. I'm like, oh my God, I have to talk about this. We're basically at an incremental update here. Like, so I'm like, it's, it's fine. Like a lot of the controllers are cool. They're, they're very nice. No, don't disrespect anybody involved. I'm just, I'm kind of at this point now where I don't think we've reached peak DJ controller, but I haven't seen innovation or something that I'm like, stop the presses. I have to sell a kidney. I have to buy this right now. Like, honest to God, I, I just kind of like, mm, that's cool. Eh, that's nice. Oh, wow. It finally stems. That's great. Like, I, I haven't seen anything that's like, oh, my God. But I have seen one thing that was like, I got to make a video about this. And this has been weighing on my mind for a minute. For me personally, my DJ style, I've talked about this before, but I'm a mobile DJ. I do weddings, corporate events, birthday party, whatever, like that kind of stuff. I do not DJ clubs anymore. I haven't done that in a minute. I haven't DJed on the radio in like pff, decades. Like, it's been a long time since I've been on the radio. And like um, my business model is okay for right now, but I I can't say for the future. Like who knows? Okay, if you think about the AI before, whenever... DJ software is like hey, new DJ software with AI or AI DJ software. Like it's a gimmick. It wasn't like a thing. This past weekend, I heard this song that was artificially created by AI. I, I don't know if it was chat GBT or which one it was, but somebody created a song mimicking voices from Drake in the weekend and a beat by, I, I think it was Metro. I can't remember who produced the beat or the, who the style of the beat was, but when I listened to the song, it was eerie and it got me thinking that if some enterprising person wanted to really grab all this data and put together a proper playlist and proper mix edits and scratches, whatever, it can be done. We're no longer to the point now where, you know, DJs was a thing that you know, it, uh, only the specialty people could do, and it took a lot of effort and skill and whatever, whatever. I'm not one of those people that exaggerate my <laughs> importance in the world, as it will. Like, we were on borrowed time as it is, because especially the next generation, because people don't care about music the way they used to. You know, like, they're, the effort and time it takes to create music. And I, that's a whole other discussion. But, like, if we're being honest, if you spent any time DJing, you know, a high school or whatever, like the way they think about music is more so about what's trending on Instagram or TikTok or all this other stuff. Right. So, you know, where we're thinking like, Oh, we're going to cultivate sound and we're whatever. These guys are like, what was the most popular song that got likes and someone did a funny dance? Like that's the thought process for the future generation. I wouldn't say we're obsolete, but we are teetering on the brink of it. Right. So if you were a, <laughs> A DJ and you're like, I'm going to be DJing like this for the next 20 years. Good luck with that. <laughs> Good luck with that. I think we're on a hundred percent on borrowed time. Hearing that Drake song that mimicked Drake's voice and weekends voice and music production, all of it <laughs> created on an app somewhere. Scary. I, you, you should be a, at a minimum. You should be alarmed. 
because it is almost nothing to mimic styles and it's almost nothing now to mimic playlists because again, like I said before, all of our information is going right up to the cloud. We're no longer at the DJ AM mode where, you know, somebody's at a party like, Oh wow, this DJ's played songs I never heard before. Everyone's got Shazam. <laughs> Everybody's got, you know, the thing. you can go online and see whatever the playlist is on your Spotify thing. Like, this is no longer hidden information sent down from the gods, like the Ten Commandments. Like, it's not, this is not what this is anymore. We're in a different place, and you got respected as such. Now, and I got to stress this enough, because I know a lot of people are like, ah, oh, you just hate, you scared. TikTok. Listen, right? I was one of the first people to be like, yo, MP3 is the future. <laughs> Prepare for it now. I was archiving songs back then, preparing for the future. So like, I'm not, I'm not scared of technology. I'm just a realist about what's happening here. As great as we are, and especially coming up with different styles of music and flipping things, whatever, that is going to become more important than ever before to separate yourselves from the Spotify playlist DJs in the future, right? The ability to create new music on the fly. That's going to be a, a factor here. I, I think going forward, it's going to, you know, like it's going to be like, how good are you flipping stems and stuff like that? Or how are you as a performer talking to the microphone? Like if you're a DJ and you just put two songs together, you are extinct right now. <laughs> I'll put that, I'll put that down. Like it's almost going to come to a point now where the music you play as a DJ is probably the least important part of your skill set. Most likely it's going to be like how you talk to the crowd Cause that you can't, at least for right now, <laughs> I don't know, maybe a chat GPT version coming in the future, but as it stands right now, uh, your ability to talk to people, your, your ability to network and whatever, entertain the crowd, if you will, besides you playing music is going to be a huge factor for, you know, what kind of DJ you're going to be for how successful you're going to be playing music. Because let's be real here. If you just play two songs together, what is stopping somebody from, you know, just playing a title playlist or whatever? Like what, what's stopping them? Like there's no separation between you and, you know, a playlist. Like let's, let's be real here. If we're, if we're being hundred percent accurate, there's zero separation between you and a playlist. It's kind of scary and exciting at the same time. Like I, I definitely believe that we got to embrace technology and we got to be forward thinking about how, this medium in the art form goes forward. Like we have to, we will never survive this. It took a long time for people to move off of records to get to the CDJs and controllers and what we're at now. And I mean, we're at the point now where we don't even need laptops. You can, you can play everything off the cloud or, you know, just plug your phone in. Like that's how, that's how much technology is advanced. Like you think about it, like a couple of years ago to say, yeah, I'm just going to bring my phone or a USB thumb drive to DJ set. That was unheard of a couple of years ago. And technology's advanced so quickly that uh, who knows what we're going to be two years from now, three years from now. I definitely think that, you know, even uh, we're talking about record box here uh, gives you suggestions for songs to play. And that's big based on the songs in your library and what you've been playing. Like that's basically AI, if you will, but it's a thing there that's already there and we're using it right now. And I don't think that, I think probably more suggestions of what to play and how to play it is going to come in the, and I <laughs> got to prepare for it, man. <laughs> the pressing a button and having the song sorted for you in, a, in the best way possible. I think you're basically going to be like, hey, I want a hype party. I want people to dance at 10 o'clock. And we want to finish that one sort <laughs> like this is just, once you put the parameters in there, like we're almost there. Like we're really close. So to be like, ah, yeah, this will never happen. We're always going to need DJs. I don't know, man. I honestly don't know. Um, I'm not scared about it. Like I, I've been teaching a long time. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not welcoming my DJ overloads just yet, but uh, I gotta be honest. Like I'm not, I'm not going to be surprised when it happens. I'll put it like that. Like, I'm not surprised. It's probably one of the reasons I haven't been excited about talking about technology on, on the channel as much as I've been before, because, you know, we've, we've jumped over sharks and dinosaurs or whatever else. Like we're in a place now where 
we're two buttons away from a perfect playlist and everybody having a great time. A couple of years ago, I wouldn't even say it wasn't even that long ago where who was back there was super important. So like, we, we've slowly seen the shift of how good of DJ you are versus how many Instagram followers you have and how many people can bring you can bring to a party, or whatever. And, you know, the shift was promoters to the DJs being the promoters now to, you know, the bar just has a funny drink night and whatever, whatever. And you're kind of irrelevant at this point. This is kind of a ramble, but I, I, I think it's something that should be on your mind right now. Like, how are you not noticing the trends here? <laughs> I, I say, like, well, playlists are getting better because of all the data we're providing. It, it's very interesting to see where we're at as far as technology. And I don't know if we're at peak DJ, but it feels like there's nothing that you could really do to a controller that would be like, Oh my God, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like we're very, we're very close to, to seeing what the, the best is what we can do. I would say, what do you think is the future of DJ going forward? The, take away playing songs and that stuff. Like just putting two songs together past that. That's the basics. What do you think the future of DJing is? Um, and what would be needed or could you just put your <laughs> iPhone, iCloud thing and it's going to be perfectly mixed and get the crescendos there and <laughs> play the right remix? Like, wh where are we there? Are we are we still heavy on any human interaction or are we past that? And really, it just comes down to what app you're using. Like, wh where are we here? I think that it's a good question to ask because... You know, we're we're at self-driving cars. Like, <laughs> why can't we have self-driving DJ playlists? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're we're already there. If you really think about it, like, we're there as far as technology goes. Implementation and the need for it. I still believe that we need public to be in public. And I talked about this during the lockdowns that I can't, still can't say on YouTube. But, um... You know, people were because a lot of people were saying like, you know, DJs is, is finished and, you know, we're going to be doing everything virtually. And that didn't pan out at all. People still want to be in public. People still want to go dance and, you know, at a bar or whatever. Like that didn't change, really. I don't really have a point to it, but like it, it's kind of a, a thought process. Like I'm working it out in my head. Uh, if you've gotten this far, like kudos to you because like I'm just working it out. But like. I have questions and I think these are the types of things that we need to start thinking about because, you know, we're basically here We're we're here. Um, I, I do think though, I, we're not there for robot DJs at weddings yet because too many variables and, and people they're, they're not comfortable relying solely on, uh, you know, an app to handle a wedding, such a request and this kind of stuff. And, and realistically, the ability to change things on the fly is probably the only thing saving us at DJs. Realistically, like being able to do stuff on the fly and you're like, oh, you want to hear country anymore? Got you. Then just switch over to a new thing. DJs aren't there yet. But I mean, it, it could be. I use an app to take a request and, you know, it's you can wait how important the song is. You can tell how many people did request the time it came in. Like this is all this stuff is data, man. <laughs> and it really just takes an enterprising person to kind of put it together into a thing. But this is all just data. The one thing I would say is topping robots or taking over is the ability to read, you know, the crowd and, you know, how long to play a song. Cause like there's an algorithm you can say like, you know, two, 2.5 minutes or whatever <laughs> for a song. It's probably enough. Some people do less. Some people do more depending on the genre of music, but it's probably like a, a technical algorithm you could come up for how long to play a song. But man, when you look at people's faces and they're looking at you like, what the fuck? You, you, you know, you can't, there's no app for that. There's no app for the skill set, and, and that's really probably the saving grace for the, the time being. But I mean, there's cameras everywhere. <laughs> So, I mean, it could be an algorithm for 
14 angry eye eyebrows or whatever. <laughs> He'll say like, when you hit 14, like, oh, we got to change the song now. Like there's an algorithm for all of this stuff. And this is all data points on Excel spreadsheet. Like, let's be honest. Like we're just, uh, we've gone, we've been able to read things for so long and we've got whatever, but like, it's, it's all data points. And whew, I don't know, man, <laughs> I don't know. It's not doom and gloom though. I'm not saying that. And I'm not saying that, you know, we're, we're going to be replaced tomorrow. I'm not saying that at all. I think that, you know, how you present yourself and what kind of show you can put together, that matters greatly. And, you know, like your ability to put songs together in the right order to make it make sense, to make people want to dance, that absolutely matters. But, I mean, if all this stuff's going to who knows, man? Who knows? I don't know, man. I, I honestly don't know. How do you feel about the future? What is the future of DJing? Or how do you feel about it? Are you, are you comfortable? Would you, would you bet your house and your mortgage on it? Or you're kind of like, ah, this, this is a young man's game. I'm going to get out soon. I definitely think that, especially for the future, if your goal is to become like, a, you know, your big festival DJ, ah, I don't know. I, there you're, you're being asked more so than just putting some songs together. You know, you require more. You're, you're, it's more about you as a, a entertainer and, uh, you know, personality wise versus the songs you play. Like you don't start putting helmets on and throwing cakes at people. If your style, your personality isn't more important than, uh, the music you're playing. I, <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Anyways, let me know what you think about this below. Leave a comment. I would love to hear the feedback on this joint. <laughs> Doom and gloom, man. Doom and gloom. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I may make for videos soon. I don't know. Depending on where my head's at. If you got ideas and stuff you want me to make a video about, like send me an email. Send me a... Shoot me a text. Shoot me uh leave a comment, man. I read all this stuff. I do read everything. Emails, comments, I read everything. I do read it. I may or may not respond to you, but I definitely read it though. But uh anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh peace out, bitches.